How did astronauts frame photos without a viewfinder? On specially built Hasselblad cameras, how did astronauts operate the camera controls with bulky gloves on, and how did they frame photos without a viewfinder? The astronauts did a lot of training with the cameras. They used 60 mm wide-angle lens angular field diagonal 63 degrees, side 47 degrees and the large image format 53 asterisk 53 mm helped them in framing. The 500 mm lens had a special notch and bead viewfinder. See first image. Enter image description here. Image of a suited training from this page. Enter image description here. Apollo 16 geologic training exercises in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada July. 7 9 1 9 7 1, Charles Duke left and John Young studying traverse map prepared for them during geologic traverses at Sudbury. Both astronauts have electric Hasselblad cameras, similar to the ones they would use on the moon, mounted on their chest plates. From this NASA page, Astronaut Training for Lunar Photography. The Apollo astronauts underwent intensive training in preparation for their moon explorations. Over the several years prior to the moon, Missions, scientific and photographic training was provided. Astronauts were encouraged to take training cameras on trips to become more familiar with the camera operation and to enhance their photographic technique. Tutorials were provided to the crews on the equipment, its operation, as well as on the scientific purposes. The crews visited geologic sites in Nevada, Arizona, and Hawaii, frequently simulating their lunar traverse, completely outfitted with Sample bags, checklists, simulated backpacks, lunar rock hammer, core sampling equipment, and typically using Hasselblad L cameras, similar to those they would use on the moon. As the use of the camera was mostly automated, the most crucial training was in pointing the camera which was attached to their chest control packs for the suit's environmental control system. The astronaut would point his body in order to aim the cameras. Films taken during the practice exercises were processed and returned to the crewmen who would study the results from this NASA page. If we look at some Apollo 11 images from this NASA page, enter image description here, enter image description here, enter image description here, enter image description here, enter image description here. One image is nearly perfect framed, but sometimes the camera was not vertical and should be held a little higher. Enter image description here. Aligning all images of a panorama was not easy, see the very different vertical positions of the horizon. But all are magnificent historical images. The camera was modified with large levers to be used in space wearing thick pressurized gloves, see the red arrows. Enter image description here. Victor Hasselblad presenting the camera with the modifications for the Apollo lunar landings.